Uber is not criminally liable for a 2018 crash in Arizona, in which a pedestrian died after being struck by one of the company's self-driving vehicles. That's according to prosecutors in Arizona's Yavapai County, who said in a letter there was, quote, no basis for criminal liability for Uber in the March 2018 crash. But it did say the backup driver, Rafael Vasquez, should be referred to police for further investigation. The decision by prosecutors not to pursue criminal charges removes one potential legal roadblock for Uber ahead of its hotly anticipated IPO this year. The fatal crash involved a Volvo SUV that Uber was using to test self-driving technology. Uber's struggled to recover from the accident, its autonomous vehicle testing program remaining low-key. The ride-hailing company lost more than $3 billion last year, and it's betting on a transition to self-driving cars to eliminate paying drivers. The incident also forced other companies to temporarily halt their own self-driving tests. The technology has had little oversight from regulators and scrutiny built up after the crash. Vasquez, who was in the driver's seat during the crash while the vehicle drove itself, may face charges of vehicular manslaughter. That's according to a police report from last year. Based on a video from inside the self-driving car and records collected from the streaming service Hulu, police said that Vasquez was looking down and watching an episode of The Voice on a phone. Vasquez looked up moments before the car struck 49-year-old Elaine Hertzberg. Police called the incident, quote, entirely avoidable. Authorities are still investigating the crash. An Uber spokesperson declined to comment on the prosecutor's letter.